Breaking news. Diddy allegedly essayed nine-year-old boy, accuser's attorney, claims. At 12.12 p.m. PT, one of Diddy's attorneys, Erica Wolf, told TMZ, and I quote, as Mr. Combs' legal team has emphasized, he cannot address every meritless allegation in what has become a reckless media circus. That said, Mr. Combs empathetically and categorically denies as false and defamatory any claim that he essayed anyone, including minors. He looks forward to proving his innocence and vindicating himself in court, while the truth will be established based on evidence and not speculation. Diddy is about to be hit with lawsuits for S.A., and abuse in a Houston-based law firm representing 100 accusers is telling some of their stories for the first time, including allegations that Diddy essayed a nine-year-old boy. Attorney Tony Busby says a wave of lawsuits will be filed against Diddy in the next 30 days, including from an accuser who claims he was only nine years old when Diddy and others essayed him at the Bad Boy Records studio in New York City. Bugsby claims that Diddy lured the nine-year-old to an audition with the promise of a record deal and then allegedly essaying him. And... In addition, Bugsby claims his law firm will be filing suit on behalf of other accusers who claim they were minors when Diddy abused them, including another who says Diddy forced them to perform oral sex. Bugsby says another accuser was 15 years old when they were flown out to New York City to attend a party where they were drugged and taken into a private room with Diddy where he allegedly graped her before others took turns having their way with her. A big time attorney who has sued a bunch of celebrities including Travis Scott and Chris Brown, Bugsby claims his clients were graped, F-A'd, and sexually exploited by Diddy and his associates. And he says they were typically forced to consume a drink that was laced with Trank, a horse tranquilizer. According to TMZ, Busby's law firm announced on Friday that they were repping more than 50 alleged victims who came forward with gut-wrenching stories about what went down at Diddy's alleged freak-off parties. Busby described the mind-boggling allegations as debauchery and depravity exacted by powerful people And now he says there are 120 accusers who will be filing individual lawsuits against Diddy and others. Busby strongly hinted that other celebrities would be named in the lawsuits. And he said he would be suing anyone who was involved or knew about the alleged abuse and refused to put an end to the things. Busby said the alleged abuse happened in well-known venues and hotels, as well as private residences, mostly in Los Angeles and New York. And he said the lawsuits will include names that will shock you. It should be noted that Busby has not yet filed a single case in any jurisdiction. Meanwhile, Diddy is facing a mountain of other lawsuits, sitting in jail as he awaits trial following his arrest and a federal indictment. Diddy pled not guilty to charges of ex-trafficking, kidnapping, and racketeering in the federal case. Mark Agnafilio 
Diddy's attorney is fighting hard for the Bad Boy Records founder, claiming the feds are gunning for Diddy simply because he's a successful black man. Sounds like the federal indictment and the already filed lawsuits are just the tip of the iceberg here. Too low to the mall. Put a couple cables and a hundred fucking dimes. Color slot a gang, you get your shit pop. Take off with a drum, the bitch ain't never go stop. Be on that line, what shit?